Hello and welcome back to another HitFilm tutorial. In today's HitFilm tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the audio voiceover recording feature that is inside of HitFilm Express completely for free. It's actually quite easy to use, and all you have to do is go up to the new button in the media tab, and then go down to voiceover. Or you could do Control, Shift and R on your keyboard. Once you select the voiceover from the new dropdown, then you can see that a new window will appear and in this new window, you have the option to change your input device for your audio. If you had multiple microphones plugged in, or if you were using a device that had a built-in microphone and you wanted to plug in an external microphone, then all of your options will appear here as to which microphone you want to use. Then you have an option to change the sample rate of your audio. Then below the sample rate option, you have the input volume slider. This can be used to change the input volume and you can play around with that depending on your audio recording preferences. Then we have the mute playback checkbox. If you don't check this, so if you leave it as it is, then it won't mute the video that you're recording your voiceover to. This means that say if you were to be recording a voiceover to a video that had a music track, then you'll be able to hear the music while you're recording. However, if you check this, then it will mute the video that you're recording to. When you're ready to start recording, then press the record button. When you do, it will count you in from three and then you can start recording. This is a recording. Once you finish recording, you can then press the stop button. Then you can just close out this window and then go into your editor timeline. And as you can see, a new audio track has been created named voiceover. And you can also see that there is the audio that you just recorded using the audio recording feature. If you then look into the media tab, you will also see that your audio that you just recorded is also over there. And if you double click on it, you can edit this audio in the trimmer like you can with any other audio or video clips. But what if you wanted to record your audio in a composite shot? Well, all you have to do is load your composite shot and then make sure that you have your composite shot open. Then go over to new in the media tab and then select voiceover. Then you'll have all of the exact same options and then you can click the recording button. It will count you in from three and then you can record your audio. And now you can see that this audio has now been recorded into the composite shot, but not into the editor. And you can listen to it back as normal. Here's a handy extra little tip for if you're working with audio inside of composite shots. If you want to get an audio waveform for your audio, then right click on the audio, go over to options and select show waveform. And this will then load in an audio waveform. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, then please leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any future tutorial requests or suggestions, then please leave them down in the comments below. And uh, hope to see you next time. Goodbye.